What is up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Kenny, AKA Texas 3AS. It has been a while <laughs> since my last video, but today I actually have something pretty cool for y'all and pretty big for the IS200T community, I would say, because there's not many videos about this and there's not too many combinations of uh, different types of exhausts. So with that being said, I do have a new exhaust setup. I just want to go over currently what I do have. I do have a video on my exhaust installation already, so if you want to learn how to install a exhaust, you can check out that video. It's pretty simple. Everything's just bolts. There is a like a cross member frame in the middle. You just have to unbolt that to get to the mid pipe. But um, yeah, currently I do have a PP engineering downpipe that is catless, stock mid pipe, and a remark axle back. So yeah, stock mid pipe has the secondary cats and resonator, whatever they are. And then the remark has no muffler, so it's basically a straight pipe from uh, the axle back. Just picked up a cat back exhaust system. It's ARC. Take a look at it. I did pick up this piece used off of Facebook. Um, it was actually from somebody's part out, and he ended up being local. So shout out to you, Nelson, for giving me a huge deal on this. This exhaust system. Just these pieces alone cost like 2,500, 2,600 alone. And I got it under a thousand dollars, even less than half a thousand dollars. So uh, yeah, what I just really want to go through today is how it sounds paired up with the PPE decatted downpipe. I mean, it doesn't have to be PPE. It could just be any decatted downpipe and it's going to give the same sound if you choose to use the arc catback exhaust system. But yeah. Let me get this bolted up real quick. Um, not really gonna show a how to because it's pretty straightforward. Uh, literally, that's the axle back. Axle is where the wheel is. That's where the axle is, so it's back. Cat back is where the cats are and back. I'm not sure if y'all know that, but some people have trouble with uh, identifying the parts of this. So yeah, this is where the downpipe will be way up here. It comes down to this mid pipe, which cuts from here to here um, he did have these resonators cut off and then rewelded back on so I just inspected the welds and it looks good and then um, the axle back there so I just kind of wipe give it a quick wipe down uh, I'm not gonna polish it or anything I mean it's just sitting under the car so it's gonna be dirty anyways um, yeah there's two bolts on each part let it focus please yeah two bolts there two bolts there two 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 and I had to get some new gaskets um, that's all I had to do these are probably like ten bucks for a pack of five so or four <laughs> but yeah two and a half inch diameter all around throughout the whole pipe so we'll just put these in between each splitting so that there's no exhaust leaks and yeah I'll give you all some exhaust sounds I'll upload some phone clips of the before because I have a lot of iPhone clips of how this exhaust setup sounds right now but I don't feel like revving it right now because the exhaust is cooled down and you don't want to touch it when the pipe is hot because it'll take forever to cool down I mean not forever but I guess in Texas it'll it's not cold so it won't cool down fast enough let me um, bolt this up and I'll give you all plenty exhaust clips revving flybys whatever you want cruising yeah see you on a bit looking like a mess so far but here's the update I got the whole cat back out which includes the stock mid pipe, which is up there to the left, and the remark axle back, which is this one with no mufflers, and this one. So if you're wondering, can I use the arc mid pipe with the remark axle back or any axle back? Yes, you can. Um, the arc is just in two pieces, so it's easier to install because this piece is really heavy at the back. Um, just to show you for reference, I will line it up for you. See that the connections there and the ending there. Don't mind my Crocs. I'm just working outside. Um, looks like the arc exhaust is a little bit short on the tailpipe end. So, I mean the exhaust tip ends uh, by a lot. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see if we can get that extended with new tips or something like that. But yeah, these are. Four and a half inch tips stock on the arc exhaust and the remark has like three and a half inch so 
but those are dual and these arc is single tip but yeah about to throw this in the exhaust is fully on i just started it just to check for exhaust leaks and stuff like that i let it cool down again so now we're gonna hear a i guess a little mild warm start a little cold start it sounds deeper than my previous setup i'm just gonna start it so i can get off the wood blocks and then we'll be driving to uh, just driving around to see how it sounds with the pops and bang tune the enforced tune and maybe just drive through a garage parking garage just to hear it because i'm not i don't have a recorder or somebody to drive my car so yeah that's how it looks with the 17 plus diffuser it doesn't stick up past the diffuser just drove it to a parking garage I had to make it quick because it's gonna be obnoxious and there are security here and yeah I'm in the public so it is a lot deeper tone than my previous exhaust setup um, but the pops is there it's pretty audible now because there's no I guess a secondary cat or the the resonator or whatever it's called in the mid pipe but yeah there is a resonator in there right now but it's just the resonators there's no primary cats or secondary cats um and the arc muffler is on so yeah full arc cat back plus a ppv ppe engineering decatted downpipe let's set y'all down and give y'all some revs we're in a garage so it's going to be more audible but um hopefully it escapes out through there
that is pretty much it for this video. It was just a update on my exhaust and just wanted to show y'all what this combination sounds like since not many people made a video on this. I mean, I've never seen a video on it, just maybe like a, like a story or whatever, but yeah. PPE engineering, decatted downpipe, and a full arc exhaust from the midpipe back. It sounds pretty good. It's very tame whenever you want it to be, and whenever you get on it, that's when you want it to be loud. So yeah, and the pops are more audible. It doesn't just sound like farts. So yeah, I will be putting um, clips of my previous exhaust setup, which it didn't sound like pops. It just sounded like poofs, you know, like put, 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 but these are actually pops now. So it sounds pretty cool. Um, yeah. Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, guys. I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.